Welcome back to Swordman Josh Gaming, and on this pre-release weekend, it is Friday, which is the start of pre-release. Uh, your event probably starts around 6 o'clock. I have picked up my Theros Beyond Death booster box. I do not get to play in the pre-release this weekend um, due to some conflicts with uh, my fiance is going out of town for a girls weekend, and I have my kids with me, so I don't get to play. Um, buy a box promo card. So I'm sure a lot of you read about the fiasco in regards to what happened with the buy a box cards. It was supposed to have a foil land and the buy a box promo card in it. They printed it with regular land. So of course we got foil lands in addition to what's inside. So a very foily planes. I'm hoping this is indicative of what we pull out of this box because I am desperately wanting to do a Heliod commander deck so the two big things i want i know main one of them's like the second most expensive card which is of course heliod i'm hoping to pull a heliod and idyllic tutor for that deck so uh, we start off with one foil card right here which is that i mean that's a great start and uh then inside this pack should be athreos and a non-foil land and we're not messing around today. We're opening the whole box. No teasing, nothing. So there's Athreos. That's your buy a box promo. I like the other Athreos better. Uh, this one, it's a coin counter thing. And if a creature died with a coin counter on it, return that card to the battlefield under your control. Uh, but you only get to put a coin counter, one coin counter per turn. So, and hey, it's it's another plane. This is, uh, hopefully this is uh, going to tell us what we're going to get. Hopefully we don't get screwed. I don't know what this card is. It's I, I watched some people at the game store open them. They all had this in here. I guess I have to be over the age of 13 to open this box. But let's get cracking. Hopefully we get what we want. I will be uh, finding a fat pack of this also. And opening that later. Because... For those of you who don't know, I always open at least a fat pack because the fat pack box is perfect for if you keep um, all your commons in one location. All your commons from this box, which for some reason doesn't want to open, uh, and all your commons from a fat pack box, they all fit in the fat pack box by themselves. So no teasing this time. We're opening the whole box. I generally don't do this. But uh, I am, I'm hyped for this set. I like this set a lot. So we're going to, oops, make sure we still got things. We're going to set this up here. I'm going to set this box, which is empty, off camera over here. It is going to be my trash can here. Let me set up the lid so that way I can put stuff in it. All right. Put the knife away got a sleeve just in case we get something good that's foily all right so let's get cracking and fingers crossed now these do have the pull tabs on them and they seem to work okay so we'll look at some of the tokens and then we'll just start cracking through so here's the spider it it's it's one of the tokens. I'm sure a lot of you have been foily, uh, falling, following the pre-release spoilers. It goes with the the spider dude that makes spiders whenever your opponents cast instants or sorceries. Uh, swamp. Let's see here. That was a regular. So we're going to put the lands up here. Oh, wait a second. That's a regular swamp, and that's a foil island. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm still on the fence about these lands. I think they're cool. But unlike regular lands where you can mix or match them in a deck and, and they you can make it work, these, if I was going to run them in a deck, I would have to run all of the cards be a, you know, this type of land because otherwise it would just mess with my OCD-ness. Our first card is Afima the Cacophony. I don't even know why she exists. Waste of space. Don't like her. Uh, I'm sure somebody will. We have Rise to Glory, Nissan Wonder, Glimpse of Freedom, 
and we'll go through the commons a couple of times. Thaumaturge familiar. It's an owl, so I will be. Uh, I'm going to set a copy of this right up here on my desk for my fiance since she's an owl. There's also a turtle in this set, which is me. So when it enters battlefield, scry one. We're going to set this right here for her. So she has another owl from another set. Eventually, I'll have enough owls for her. I'm going to make her a, a framed picture with all the owls, a lot of the owls from Magic. Heroes of the Games, Dreadful Apathy, Deny the Divine. Sorry, I'm going to look at the counter spells here in a second because I know my standard deck that I have done a deck tech on before here on this channel. It's a. Uh, Let's put the, all right, commons, rare, uncommons. Yeah, nothing weird or special in this set. Um, those surveils are going to rotate out of standard soon. And I'm going to have to find a counter spell to replace them with. There's, I believe, three different counter spells in this set. I believe the one I want is actually an uncommon. Wow, they cheated me out of a... Saw this a lot from the guys opening at the store, cheating you out of a token. Just, this is useless. I don't even know why they put them in there. Tokens, you can do something with them. Um, this is this is useless. And I really wish that the tokens, that they'd put a Magic the Gathering card back on them like this. So that way we could, I could use them easier for, and I wish Wizards would pay attention, could use them easier as, if you're proxying out a deck. So a plains, a uh, temple of enlightenment. So this is the rare land cycle. It's scry lands, um, just like it was for what was it? Modern? No, Modern Horizons was canopy land. So I guess it was one set back. We'll keep track of how many of those we get. Uh, Dream Shaper Shaman, Wolf Willow Haven, Birth of Miletus. And there's our turtle, the Riptide Turtle. I'm going to put him right up here with this owl. That way, uh, hopefully, we have good luck with the owl and the turtle together, my fiance and myself. Underworld Rage Hound, Unknown Shores. I'm so tired of Unknown Shores. Karametrics Blessing. I don't know. I'll, I like the omens. I like the fact they have flash. I like the fact that later they have this Scry 2 on them. I'm sure I will get some use out of the omens later. Counter target spell scry two. I just don't know what I'm gonna do yet. The unknown shores, I have so many of those, I could probably make a fire out of them and let it burn for a while. Feels weird actually using a this tab down the side of these cards to open them. I haven't done that since Ultimate Masters. Again, no useless. Why even put them in there? There's a forest. A little more blue than I would think up here. Uh, foil Uncommon, Nissan's Wanderer. Very pretty foil. Let's see here, foils are here. Allure of the Unknown. I don't know quite how I feel about this card, but we'll see if it does anything. Uh, also not a color pairing that I normally play. Then we have the Ferris Band Brawler, Dawn of Angel. Whenever a creature dies of an aura can... Okay. Whirlwind Denial. This is the one that I was thinking of that could replace Surveil. Uh, I mean, it'd be a nice thing. Uh, I' gonna have to see how it plays out. I uh, I just don't know yet. I got a problem here with my piles. What am I doing here? Just kind of skipping through, seeing some of the new omens here. I got a problem with my piles here. Alter. Maybe not much of a problem. All right, let's keep going. It's a pretty old wolf token. Mountain and Calyx Destined Hand. There's our first mythic, Mythic Planeswalker. 
Uh, I guess we need a little more room up here to be able to track our mythics. I saw the alternate art of this while I was at my LGS. One of the guys opened an alternate art of this card. It was pretty cool in the alternate art. Then we have Timoret Chosen from Death. Hero of the Wind and Mirror Shield. Now, what I'm going to be curious about and what we saw from about three box openings was one to two Garys per box. If there's only one per or two Garys per box, I wonder what kind of, if, if that's going to impact his current value with it being that low. I mean, I know he's an uncommon this set, but still, one to two Garys for an entire booster box seems low to me. Uh, but we'll, I mean, that's just my opinion. There's the Kraken token. Is land. We have a foil. Farika's libation. A Atreus, Oracle of Half Truths. And, all right. Clothos Design, Hero of the Nyxborn, Inevitable End, and that'd be alright for Devotion. A little stiff. If it had Trample, it might be better. Flicker of Fate. Exile target creature enchantment, then return. Ah, another Flicker effect. I do like my Flicker decks. Actually, I'm... Uh, we had a another. Uh, you guys know about the challenges that we have on in here that I've talked about multiple decks that I've done deck decks on being challenges. Our most recent one was a popper brawl deck. Except since it's at popper level, obviously it's an uncommon planeswalker. But since it was at Brawl level, we could use any commons throughout Magic's history. So we had to change it a little bit. 2-2 two -two Pegasus. I'm not sure what makes this. Island. Oh, we have a Foil Demigod. Uh, Annex hardened in the Forge. It's Foil. Is it really warped already? Look how warped that is already. But it's the alternate art, which is pretty cool. And we have Erebos, our first god behind him. And our second mythic. So Erebos the Black Hearted. I'm hoping for Heliod. But this one is. As long as your devotion to black is less than 5. As it is with all of the gods. It's not a creature. Whenever another creature you control dies. You may pay 2 life if you do draw a card. And you can sacrifice a creature. Target creature gets minus 2, minus 1. And that's for a black and a colorless. So there's our second mythic. Dreamstalker, Mana Core. Hydra's Growth, this is one that uh, I think we'll probably see quite a bit of play. And Underworld Dreams, which is another one that I was looking forward to for a uh, mono black with Gary. Indomitable Will. Final Death, that's going to be great for you pre-releasers out there. So we're not even done with the first pack. I'm so used to doing this in thirds. And I'm running long here. This is going to be a little bit longer of a box opening because it's the first time that I've seen a lot of these cards. There's the reflection. I should move these over here so I don't have to reach across. All right. A little bit of an adjustment here. Boreast. There's another foil. There's a foil where the Cetacean Champion. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under control, put a plus one, plus one counter on it and draw a card. So hopefully our next foil rare is better. We have Shatter the Sky. Each player who controls a creature with power four or greater draws a card, then destroy all creatures. All right. Entrancing Liar. There's Renata, which is uh, basically mono green Grum Gully. Commander's Presence. I don't think there's anything of major value in the common slots. But uh, it's yet to see what the big wigs of the Magic World do at the GP and the Magic Fest after this set's opened and see if any of them spike. 
planes. Tectonic. Oh, sorry. Let me get this up here. Tectonic giant. Sorry, I'm. I keep moving these down because I'm trying to read the cards also, but I should just read them up here on the screen. Probably not a card I'll play with. When Tectonic Giant deals three damage to each opponent, and that's whenever it attacks or becomes the target of a spell an opponent controls. Okay. Probably not one I'll use. If it was an ETB, I could I could abuse that, but since it's on an attack, not so much. Warden of the Chained, Siona, Captain of Pileas. That's one I may make a Popper Commander deck around. I've been playing around with one already, and I was using... Oh, gosh. I'm trying to think of, of what her name was. I have her sitting right up here. Uh, she's green-white, and her power and toughness are equal to the number of creatures you control. And obviously an uncommon if she's going to be a Popper Commander. Also, Selesnya Colors. I cannot think of the name of her off the top of my head. I have a headache today. It's been a long day. There's the, the Satyr Tokens. Mountain. Enigmatic Incarnation. Excuse me. So this is kind of like a um, like a prime speaker of Anifar or something like that for enchantments. The Maze Warden, Archon of the Falling Star, Paprika Spawn. Those are our uncommons. And this one may find some play. As long as it's not your turn, spells you cast cost one less to cast. This may find some play in standard. But uh, wait to be seen about that one. Open, I say. All I'm wanting is a Heliod and Idyllic Tutor. There's a wall token. Not sure what makes the walls. Is land. And Perforosis Intervention. So there's our first intervention. And that is a uh, red and X. It can deal twice X damage to a target creature or planeswalker or create an X1 elemental creature token with trample that dies at the end of turn. Impeding Doom. Sweet Oblivion. Lagana's Band Storyteller. There is uh, one card that I keep looking for. Other creatures you control have trample. In the common slot, and that's the mana rock that increases your devotion. I'm surprised I haven't seen one yet. We are almost through the first third of the box, and we have not seen one mana rock. Goat lives matter. Swamp. Wave Break Hippocamp. Whenever you cast your first spell during an opponent's turn, draw a card. Not sure where this one's going to land. We have a alternate art, Daxos, Blessed by the Sun. He will get to go into my new Heliod Commander deck, so looking forward to that. The Triumph of Annex and Enemy of Enlightenment. Another turtle. Nothing much in there. How many times has Return to Nature been printed, guys? It's it's uh seems like it's been around for forever. Planes and the Acroan War. So what is this? This is a saga. Gain control of target creature for as long as it's Acroan Wars on the battlefield until your next turn. Creatures your opponents control attack each combat if able, so you'll get a free swing in. And then each tapped creature deals damage to itself equal to its power. Interesting. Could find a place in Feather. Uh, the twice favored. Hey, look, it's Gary. We finally got a Gary. So that's one Gary for this box. Actually, I'm going to set Gary right up here because I'm curious... I actually kind of want to check that and see what we get in the way of Gary's in a box. Because I have now seen three boxes opened. One Gary in one box, two Gary's in another box, and one Gary in the third box. Uh, and then Bad Boy Gaming opened his box. I think he got one Gary in his box. So 
I'm actually kind of curious about that. Mountain, Temple of Malice. So here's our second temple. A color pairing I will never use. So two temples, I'm guessing that we're going to average three temples per box. Hateful Eidolon, that's a fun card. Let's see here, let's see where we got to make our piles right here. Traveler's Amulet, so tired of that one. Owl. So still, we are officially over a third of the way through, and no Mana Rock. You guys have been going with me to, uh, yeah, no token. To make sure I don't miss it, Swamp. There's our Idyllic Tutor. That was one we were looking for. Happy to see it. And then we have Calife, Chain Web, Reverent Hoplite. There it is, Altar of the Pantheon. That's the one that I was talking about. The uh, mana rock for the set and increases your devotion to whatever color you want it to increase your devotion to. And if you have a demigod or a god, if you tap it for mana, you gain a life. That's one that I can see in devotion builds. If they're not running the Nyx's Bloom, Lotus Bloom, I can see that possibly. It's probably slow for standard, but for casual standard, it could be fun to play. Another useless card. We have the puppy, Kuranos, Hound of Athreos. So we have Athreos, and here's Athreos's puppy. This one's pretty sweet. It's uh, one Orzov, Vigilance, Menace, and Lifelink. And creature cards in graveyard can enter the battlefield, and players can't cast spells from the graveyard. It's a great hate card. I, I do love this card. I can put it in my... Tesa deck, except I've been thinking about ripping that deck apart. I will probably do a deck tech before I rip it apart. I've already taken a couple pieces out of it. Uh, like the Enlightened Tutor. And I think I took out... Because it went into another deck. I think I also took out like maybe a Smothering Tithe may have went into another deck. So a couple cards have come out of it already, so it's not even legal to play. Swamp. Plucranos. Is this the one that everybody is going after? No, that's Uro. Um, so yeah, he's he's kind of interesting. Is he a he's one of our mythics? So he enters the battlefield with six plus one plus one counters on it. It escapes with twelve. If damage would be dealt while it has a plus one, plus one counter on it, prevent that damage and remove that many plus one, plus one counters. And then you can have it fight another target creature. It's okay. But it is our third mythic. So I don't think we're looking very well here for a Heliod. I can uh, pray, hope and pray. If my eyes don't deceive me, that's a mythic. But for me, the gold's really close to the amber because I'm colorblind. Planes, Indomitable Will Foil. Got to keep my pile straight because I'm tracking some things here. Then we have the Nightmare Shepherd. Banishing Light, Minions Return, Shoal Kraken. I'm actually hoping to pick up a pre-release kit after pre-release weekend's over, so that way I can play with my stepson and his friend who's Goose. He goes by Goose. And uh, see how we would do if I actually got to play with him in a pre-release. I normally play against him whether I get to play in the pre-release or not. So hopefully I can pick up a kit. Here's the Nisian Boar. Okay, it could possibly go into my Grun deck. Um... But probably not. I'll probably never use this card. Staggering Insight. Destiny Spinner. Elspeth's Nightmare. So far, I've pulled an idyllic tutor that I wanted. What is that guy? Enchantment Creature Spirit from 1 blue for a 1-2. Sack it, draw. 
that's not a bad little early morning, early game blocker, and then later on get some value out of it. Yep. Come on, Heliod, where are you? The funny thing is, the bo one of the boxes, the gentleman, Goose, that I told you, I watched him open his box. He got the box right after mine, and he, in his box, he did get an Idyllic Tutor and a Heliod, which is exactly what I want. We have another foil rare, uh, Taranica, a Crowan Veteran, Vigilance 3-3. Three, three. Whenever it attacks, untap target creature you control until end of turn. That creature has base power and toughness 4-4 four, four, and gains indestructible, so you get pseudo vigilance. And Elspeth Conquers Death. Not going to read all of that. Slaughter Priest of Mogus, Dragged to the Underworld, Phalanx Tactics. I am surprised at the low amount of that mana rock in this set. I was hoping to get a play set. It's only a common. My, box is, my trash box is getting full over here. Wolf Island. Here's the spider... Spider doodad, it's a uh, Arasta of the Endless Web. Sorry, checking the time here. All right, Thundering Chariot. We have a another annex alternate art. We got the foil, and here's the alternate art and non-foil. Mirror Triton. The other card that I'm hoping to get is the spear that gives makes non -indi makes indestructible creatures non indestructible and does vigilance or does trample plus one plus one and something else. That's the other card I'm hoping to get. So there were really three cards from this set I was hoping for, and we've gotten one of them. Swamp. There's the Temple of Plenty, so our third temple. So hopefully we're done with temples. Acolyte of Affliction. There's another Life Linker that's fun. Metamese Prophecy. This one I do like. Uh, so it's a saga, but it's a low casting cost. So scry to choose a card name. When you cast a spell with the chosen name for the first time this turn, draw two cards. So basically you can scry to draw three cards and then look at the top card of each player's library. The fourth part of the saga doesn't really matter, but the first two are pretty good. I like drawing for three mana, scry two, draw three. That seems pretty strong to me, even though you have to do it over multiple turns. Human soldier, planes, moss viper foil, and Ox. This is one that may be a sleeper in the set. And it is a fourth mythic. Well, guys, I think my hope has now been destroyed. Clinging to dust. The Binding of the Titans. Of being able to get the card that I wanted. Unless if I get really lucky and get more than four mythics. Satire Forest. That's his Oracle. This is one that if you already play a Lab Man and a Jace. What's the name? Wielder of Mysteries. It's just a straight slot in. Satessian Petitioner. Careless Celebrant. Favored Eroes. Hey, look. It's another Altar of the Pantheon. That's two of them. And so far we have pulled one Gary. And we are done. This is the last pack of the second third of the box. So maybe since we have a third left, we have another mythic to go. I can hope. We have a Towering Wave Mystic Foil. And Haktos the Unscarred. Now, he's going to be interesting to see whether he does anything. 
because basically immune to everything except for randomly a 2, 3, or 4 CMC casting cost spells and abil creatures and stuff. Field of Ruin, notable reprint there. All right, last 12 packs. I don't know why the pull tabs are not pulling all the way down. Soldier planes. I was hoping we would get it. Whoa, Strider. It's a good rare. Free sack outlet. Nix's Herald. Agonizing Remorse. Glimpse of Freedom. I'm going a little faster now. Coming up on pre-release time where I'm at for everybody. Our first pre-release here at the at my LGS starts at 6. Island. Timurit's Call of the Dead. That is a wall of text, let me tell you. And right behind it is Timurit Chosen of Death, as if they didn't do that on purpose. Furious Rise, Soul Guide Lantern. Coming into the home stretch. If I could open these packs faster, we would be done with this by now. Flexion Mountain. We have a foil annex hardened by the forge. This is the same exact demigod that we have a foil alternate and a non foil alternate. Okay. Nelia, uh, Nylia's Intervention, so it's our second intervention, which is a rare Rise to Glory, Nissan's Wonder, Sea God Scorn. So still one, one Gary, two of the Mana Rocks, four Mythics so far. Soldier, Swamp, A Foil, Dreadful Apathy, The First Iroan Games, Siona, The Birth of Miletus, Stinging Lionfish, nothing there, let me <clears throat> reduce my stack here. So if you guys like these longer videos of an entire booster box opening, before I tried to, I've been trying to keep my videos down to about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes for openings. That's the reason I split them, because I like to talk about the cards. But if you like it this way better, just let me know. Archon of Sun's Grace. Oh, this is the one that makes the Pegasus tokens. Uh, Pegasus creatures have lifelink, and whenever an enchantment enters a battlefield under your control, create a 2-2 white Pegas Pegasus token. And it has lifelink itself. All right, that's where it comes from. There's Daxos, Underworld Fires, Mystic Repeal. And not. Satire, Island. There's the Shadow Spear I wanted. That's what we were talking about. That Shadow Spare, I know exactly where it's going to go. Glad, so we've gotten two of the cards I wanted. There's Renata, Heliod's Punishment, Underworld Dreams. So it's a plus one, plus one, Trample and Life Link, which is pretty strong. The only thing that could have made it stronger was... Make it so that way the creature also had either Shroud or Hexproof. Tentacle Forest. Uh, foil Enemy of Enlightenment. And Treacherous Blessing. Pending Doom, blah, 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 blah. Nothing. All right. 
we're coming into the home stretch here. One, two, three, four. We got four packs after this. Human, Plains, Forest, Underworld, Breach. This is the one that gives all of your cards escape. Archon of the Falling Star, Storyteller, Mysteries. So, yeah, I'm looking at uh, one Gary for the box. Granted, they probably make hundred thousand or more boxes of these so there's going to be an influx of Gary's in the market but it's not like they were produced at common there's the lion bronze hide lion Clotho's hero of the winds so many bronze swords So we didn't get a powerhouse box so far. Not at all. Human Soldier, Swamp, Ashiox Erasure. This is the one of the counter spells that I thought would be good to replace Surveil. Uh, too bad it's a rare. It's going to be a little harder for... Oh, look, it's a Gary. Just as I said, I probably won't get another one. There's a Gary. But Ashiox Eraser could be a good one to replace... Surveil in control decks. And another altar, so that's three altars. Uh, going forward into the new standard. Because it not only exiles, but it also makes it so that way you can't play duplicate spells. So anybody who plays four of, of something, all of a sudden the rest of it shut down unless they could remove that enchantment. Thassa Deep Dwelling. So we did get ourselves another mystic, mythic. And it was, I was hoping for Heliod more than anything else, but Thassa was the second god that I was hoping for. So there she is. Uh, so we got a five mythic box with two gods. Mirror Shield, Whirlwind Denial. And last pack, I seriously doubt if we're going to get a Mythic Heliod in this pack. But Thassa is an okay god. I like Thassa. I just like Heliod more. So now I'll have to trade for a Heliod. Well, planes and the last rare is... Oh, it's not. It's a foil forest. So we got two foil lanes in this set. I don't know if that's normal or not. Uh, last rare is... Thrix the Sudden Storm. He could be an interesting one to make a EDH deck around. Just because spells with converted mana cost 5 or greater cost 1 last to cast and can't be countered. And he has flash and flying. So it could be fun. I, I could try to think of something. Oops. Hero of the Nyxborn. Inevitable End. Dawn's Evangel. And that's it. So there's my entire first booster box. I do like this set. I like the gods. I like playing with the gods. I will get a fat pack later. And open that on stream and get another chance at Heliod if I don't get one before now and then. So if you like what you saw, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you were interested in trying to pull in this set. And let me know how you did at your pre-release. And hopefully I can pick up a pre-release kit and do a pre-release deck tech, though I won't be able to give my ranking on that deck tech. Only the way I would